I hope you watched my latest video about how to use a compact wired device. But sometimes by using this device, you can have some challenges. I will cover the top five challenges or troubles you can have with the device and solve it as quick as possible. Hi, Arne Bosman here from the Compax Academy. And the top five challenges of this device is number one, the screen adjustments. You can have a black screen or a light screen or there's no sound. The second thing is you can have some connection failures. The third thing is that when you increase your intensity level, that sometimes nothing happens. And when you switch on the device, that's the fourth one, when you switch on the device and you get a message about RS check or uh, checking for RS, what can you do about that? And the last one is that you switch on the device and you get some error codes. Let's start with number one and see how we can solve that. Screen adjustments and sound. Let's talk about the first challenge. When you switch on your device and your device is still working and you see that your screen is very bright or very dark and then you can change that in the settings. Maybe you remember that from my first video about how to use the wired device. So when, you, when the device is still working and you press it on and you hold the on button, then you come directly in the settings. Here you can adjust the screen um, contrast so you can make, make it more bright or make it more dark. So when your screen is dark, probably this setting can be on 100%. So you can change it here. When your sound is off, you can also change it here by this button and you can increase the sound to 100, for example, or 50. But when it's on 0%, then it's off. So that's an easy solution. So when your screen is dark or light, when you switch it on and your device is still working, check the settings. Connection failure. The second issue is about connection failure. You see, I'm hooked up with a lot of cables, with a lot of muscles, and I start my program and then I increase my intensity level. So what I did, you maybe remember from the first video, I press the I button, I press it two times, and I have three channels, so three channels in the plus are going up, and everything starts to work. And then you see, I get a connection filter, failure, and what you will see is like this. I will pull one off, and you see what's happening. I get a connection failure, and probably you see this. I directly know that it's my third cable, because he gives it's the third channel. So this is this cable and there's a connection failure. I will explain you step by step which connection failures you can get. To make things less confusing, I, I only connected one cable to explain you where something can happen like this. When you get this connection failure, basically there is a failure between the connection of the machine and the person, that's me. And where can the connection failure be? One of the things I see the most is that people don't put in the cables too tight. So when you press it in, you hear a click or you feel a click. If you don't feel the click, then sometimes it's not really put in right and then the failure is here. So always check your cables if they are clicked in, yes or no. The second thing what can happen is the cable of course. So there can be a crack in the cable. So the, the connection, there was a connection uh, interruption here in the cable. So try with the other cable if then the connector, connection failure isn't there. Then you know that the cable is broken and you have to replace it. Then you can have also a connection failure here. So maybe this is not really put on right or maybe loosen up a little bit and sometimes you don't see it and then there is no connection here. So always check if the connection here is okay. Sometimes also happens when the electrode is pulled off. 
and there is also no connection anymore. You get the same message. Sometimes people are using those electrodes a lot and the, the electrodes are worn down so they don't stick really properly anymore. You can see they are damaged a little bit and sometimes these electrodes are worn down and then you get this, those connection failures. I always recommend to try again with new electrodes and then probably the problem is solved. solved. One very important thing is that sometimes there is a lot of resistance in the skin. That can happen by some injuries or with some uh, troubles on, on the skin. So if this muscle get this connection failure and you tested all those things, but that wasn't the solution, then try on another muscle, maybe on your legs or on your calves, and then try it again and see if the failure is not there then you know that something is in the resistance of the skin. How you can solve that, that is a little bit more difficult, but you can solve it by placing the electrodes a little bit more to the left or the right. And sometimes that will also solve the situation. Yeah, so if you get a connection failure, it can be here in the connection, it can be in the cable, it can be in the attachment of the electrodes, it can be in the electrodes, or it can be in the skin. So check all those points if uh, that solved the problem. No reaction when you increase intensity. The third challenge is when you start a program and you increase your intensity level as high as possible and nothing happens. So there's no reaction on the muscle. In almost all cases, people are attaching one cable to one electrode. You see, I have this double pin electrode and I had attached one cable to that. I always say to people, if you attach electrodes, you always need, need to see skin between electrode A and electrode B. Now I don't see skin, I basically put on a cable on one electrode. I can imagine that there's a confusion because when I pull this electrode off and I show you, then you see it looks like it's basically two electrodes attached together. But because they are attached together, you cannot stimulate it like this. So if you change that to two separate electrodes, then your problem is solved. RS check message. The fourth challenge is basically an issue or defect. So when you switch on the machine, and you get a black screen and in the top corner you get waiting for RS or RS check or something like that then probably your battery is worn down. If you try to charge it and it stays the same or well you cannot charge the battery and you get those signal waiting for RS or RS check then open the back side look at the battery and probably you will see some corrosion on the battery and also some corrosion on those metal pins. The solution is simple. Buy a new battery, clean those metal pins, so get rid of all those corrosion, then put in the new battery and your problem is solved. In 80% of those issues, it's always a worn down battery. So try to buy a battery first and then your problem is solved. Error codes. The last issue is basically a simple one. If all the solutions before in this video didn't solve any problem, or when you switch on the device and you see a specific error code, then probably something is wrong with the device itself and we cannot solve it anymore ourselves. So in that case, you have to contact our after sale service and check with that error code what the problem is. If you need to send back the device, then I will show you how you do that. Keep in mind that you have a warranty of two years, plus one year extra if you register your product on our website. I explained that in that video before about how to use a Compax Wire device. For a repair or warranty uh, repair, we need also the invoice. 
So you have to send a copy of our of your invoice where you bought the machine and you have to download a document. I will show you how you do that on our website and send back the device easily to us so we can repair it and that the problem is solved as soon as possible. Go to Comfax.com. Scroll down to the bottom part of the website. Find the tab After Sales Service and select it. Go to the Product Return Form and select it. Here you can find the procedure of sending back a product. Fill in the document. Add a copy of the invoice, send it to this address, put everything in the box and send it out. When you don't have any warranty anymore, here you can find the costs of a repair. Thanks for watching and see you next time.